Welcome back, Troglodytes, to your daily dose of guitar information, The Trogly's Guitar Show. About a month ago, we reviewed the Jared James Nichols Gold Glory. And in this review and demo, I love the play on words. Old Glory evolved into G-Old Glory. And some people were having a great time in the comments section creating custom colors. Like you should do a snowburst called Cold Glory. Mold Glory? Hold Glory? Morning Glory? and a few other ones that aren't quite family appropriate. <laughs> However, a fan of the show, Mr. Olsen, ended up making these things actually come to life. So the first one he decided to create was Morning Glory. This is exactly what I envisioned when I said, you know, his next 50s color. He's done the black, he's done the gold. Naturally, he's going to have to do some sort of a sunburst next. And I thought it'd be cool to see a flame top, but that is exactly what this one is. That is the perfect finish for his next signature guitar. Now, whether that's Epiphone or Gibson, that doesn't matter, but this looks fantastic. I'm sure even as a Gibson signature guitar, this would sell like crazy. But all the other specs have pretty much stayed the same, except for having that beautiful flame top on here. David and Aaron thought Silver Burst would be a great one. He nicknamed it Sold Glory because he really wanted it. I would say this turned out surprisingly good. I wasn't sure if a 1P90 Silver Burst would look good or not. I mean, I've had a one pickup Les Paul Custom in Silver Burst before, but this one without all the inlays up top, I think it ended up turning out great because that's just like a continuation of the burst job right here. And the fact that you still have the black plastics matches really well with the burst. However, I don't see this one becoming a reality, simply because Silver Burst is getting used on a whole bunch of other stuff and it's very Adam Jones. Another suggestion from David was Bold Glory. Yeah, this is very bold. Sparkle purple. I'm not sure if the entire guitar would be sparkle purple, but that matches really well with the black plastics. This is another one I bet Jared would play it. It just doesn't quite seem to fit his character, but it would be cool. And Lawrence suggested good old m old glory for a moldy top, basically just an aged relic version of his existing guitar. That could be cool as like a Gibson custom shop release, I think, if they ever do that. However, his doesn't quite look like this. It'd be kind of like a combination of his old red, but in its original finish and in the old glory specs. Looks like we went as far as even aging the tailpiece on this one. Getting something like this to look right might be a bit difficult because the aging of gold tops, it is a fine line between looking good and looking not so good. But Mr. War here was thinking a spalted maple top for mold glory. Eh, I can kind of see what he's thinking, you know, spalted maple like this, but just imagine that on this guitar. But here's the real winner, Snowburst Cold Glory. The only thing I would have changed on this Photoshop mock-up was I would have did a traditional teardrop shape burst right here, maybe cut it off a little bit, but that's looking pretty cool with the white plastics. That almost looks like a platinum tailpiece on there, I'm sure he just brightened it up. But the all-white fretboard with the mother of pearl inlay right there, that is a really cool guitar. I mean, you've got guitars that have looked similar before, like the Snow Falcon. People love the all-white guitar, so just a limited edition run of like 400 of these, that would be a lot of fun. And Otavio suggested Old Gory, so instead of playing on the words of old, he did it with glory for gory. Now this one is just kind of like a, a flame top with a translucent black color, but it looks like this time we went for a P90 sized humbucker. Or we just put a dog ear cover over top of that, and we swapped it out for the black hardware. However, I thought Old Gory should have some red in it, so I had him do us another one. And it looked like this. Oh, yes! I don't think it's on brand for Jared, but having the ash top on here, EMG active pickup. I really like the black binding with the red stripes underneath it. This really looks like a wine red D Les Paul. This thing would sell like crazy. You know, if Jared ever wants to give up the blues rock musician dream, he can go to death metal with this thing. And if I'm not mistaken, I'm pretty sure he used the exact fretboard from a The Les Paul because we got the beautiful abalone inlays on this. That is one sweet looking guitar. And we would no longer have the maple top. You'd have something a little bit different. Looks like ash. So maybe you could have two different versions of Old Gory. Forrest here was telling us about Fold Glory, a travel-sized version of Old Glory. <laughs> I don't know if Epiphone does too much with the tiny guitars anymore, but I could see it as just like a funny guitar that Jared has in his studio or something. 
On a similar vine to Morning Glory, we just have a regular tobacco sunburst one. So it's not quite as red on the edges. It's got a little bit more of a darker hue. This one looks pretty good as well, I think, especially with the cream P90. It brings out the creamedness of the binding along the guitar. However, I think this one would be more commercially successful. But this kind of has like a, a vintage arch top vibe to it. And Cartoon here just wanted to see a Pelham Blue one. This is essentially just an Epiphone Les Paul Modern, but without the modern appointments. And it's done up in Pelham Blue. I think it looks good. I could see a limited edition run of these going and just have the natural back and sides. It really wouldn't cost them that much more to do since they already have a guitar that looks pretty much exactly like this except for the pickup layout. But here's where things get cool. Neon Glory. So we basically just took the Neon Green Dean guitars and then swapped it over to a Les Paul format. I could see Jared rocking this guitar on stage. It would be pretty cool and eye-catching, but, you know, Gibson taking things from Dean might not be <laughs> a good move in their book. But a straight-up green fretboard with the black inlays on here with the black hardware and knobs and plastics. Yeah, that would be pretty darn cool. Because those Dean guitars, they're just not high-end enough. If I remember correctly, they're about 300 bucks or so, and now used values might be different depending if they're still in or out of production. But to have something a little bit higher end with the same look would be kind of cool. I guess you could also go as far as doing the pink version of this as well. <laughs> and since we still have some time yet today, let's go ahead and listen to Jared do some playing. Thank you. 
All right, troglodytes, I hope you enjoyed this what-if episode of the old glory in the future. Maybe this will be a self-fulfilling prophecy and we'll see one of these come out in a couple of years. Maybe not. Maybe we're ruining surprises here, but I doubt it. It was just a lot of fun, and thank you, Trolls, for doing this. And thank you, everybody, for the suggestions. So, troglodytes, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and we will catch you tomorrow on the next episode. Take care. <laughs>